Oh, it's just the... Oh, now it's doing something with a firewall? Um... So I'm just going to let the printer be able to connect to the... This could take a minute, it says. Alright, so now it's connecting to the new uh, Espen Artist 837. It's giving it a uh, address. And now we're going to do a test print. There is paper in it, so I'm going to hit test. I'm going to go over to where the printer is. And you can hear it glumbling over there. Doing a little print thing right now. And it says print test gives you the information, username. Alright, so now we're gonna hit finish. And then it says, Would you like to install the software? Uh, inst yeah, so we're gonna hit next. You can receive faxes. We're going to hit that. Um, I'm going to put my name as the fax header. And I'm going to put my phone number in. And then we're going to hit next. Oh, it doesn't like how I entered the phone number in. Okay. So let's try that. Um, we're not going to have the, the uh, auto... Right. Yeah, we're not going to have that because it doesn't need that. We, we don't need that. So this is the fax part, which I'm probably not going to use. Alright, so now it's just checking the formula for that. I know this is being a long video, I'm sorry about it. Hopefully YouTube doesn't let me upload it. If not, there'll be part two. All right, it says it was successful. So we're gonna hit start. Networking, give me an IP address. Updating the firmware on the printer. I'll be right back.
Alright, it says on the printer updating software. You should always update your firmware on the printer itself to make sure there's no issues. The printer is lighting up. Looks like it did the updating. So we're going to hit finish. And now it's just going to install the Espen printing technology. So you can make labels for your CDs, which I'll show you how to do. Now it's just putting the other information on the computer, like the guide for the printer itself.
repairs venue is over there too. A user thing, you gotta accept the terms. And you wanna agree to install the software. Install. And you're going to hit finish and it will launch that program. I don't know if I need it to launch. And of course you have to register that whatever this reader thing is. So we're just going to do it via uh, internet. Let's see what's going on with the other thing now. And it says that it's completed. So, I've installed the Acer 837 software, which is one more thing we have to do, which is this software, which is a, it's a reader. Alright. I'm just going to put the information in. Alright, so we're going to hit next, and next, and then that will install, and that is done. So now I've got that, that, those options for the scanner. So now everything has been installed for the new printer of the Espen um, 837, and then we're just going to Pretty much that's it, and this has been a long video, so uh, hopefully you won't need, uh, and then we got the registration for this product as well. Um, but I'm going to do this, and then, um, yeah, we'll have the next video, and um, next video, I don't know what it would be, um, but if you have any questions, concerns, yeah, just let me know what you want to know about the products I have, of uh, either the new printer or the new computer or the track phone that I have or any other products I've done that maybe I haven't done a good review of um, it could be anything it could be another printer I have in the house it could be a camera because I've done a lot of reviews of those items yeah um, yeah so if you have any questions just leave a comment below or if you want to know any more things just yeah send me a message I'll try to get them as fast as I can this has been uh, another uh, review on uh, the software part of the, the printer. Have a nice day.